Or I'm going to say this before I get to calls. You can obsess over Stormy Daniels all you want. The Democrats, it's amazing, and the media, they create a standard and they immediately abandon it. We were told that all of Bill Clinton's predilections were private. We were told the women he allegedly raped should not be believed. You know, now we're talking about silencing Stormy Daniels. Hey, if, if Donald Trump really wants to silence Stormy Daniels, he should hire Hillary Clinton. She's really good at that. But Stormy Daniels is not alleging that she was raped by Donald Trump. And he was neither a president nor a candidate for president when the alleged affair took place. If it did take place, is it right? No. Should we support people, especially government officials cheating on their spouses? No. But if the Democrats have told us since we learned, since we became under the the spell of the Clintons, that how he governed, his intellect, his, his understanding of things, his academic background should wash away any accusations of infidelity and violent rape. There are no allegations of violent rape against Donald Trump. There are allegations of walking through dressing rooms, there's a facetious tape from 2005 with Billy Bush. The man has his the man has his issues with that. That's true. But going on the Democrat standard, if you cared more about blocking the third term of Barack Obama, wanted the shakeup of the status quo, were sick and tired of the Republican establishment choosing the nominee time and time again then none of these allegations would have changed my vote. I don't agree with Donald Trump on, on tariffs, and I hope it can be reasoned with. As a matter of fact, if you were to go back and look at the Reagan years, even the most ardent supporter of Ronald Reagan, the most hard-charging of conservatives, could find things that Reagan did or had to do that in their estimation were neither good nor conservative. Nobody's perfect. But I would vote for Donald Trump over and over and over again if it meant keeping Hillary Clinton out of the White House and ending the reign of the establishment of the Republican Party. Not only would I do it, I'd carry Donald Trump piggyback to do it. You see, the value in an outsider becoming president, a true outsider, who's delivered on more conservative agenda items than Jeb Bush ever would have, Jeb Bush would have given us another John Roberts. We got Neil Gorsuch. Jeb Bush would be delivering maybe a minor league go shopping small tax break. We got tax reform. Jeb Bush would, would wax poetic about securing the border. We have a president who's trying to build a wall. That I will vote for every time. You cannot tell me that I should judge the morality of this president when you defended every single immoral act of your beloved Bill Clinton. You want to talk about Russia? Let's talk about Ted Kennedy. It's amazing how the history of now works. The media wants no context, no contemporary history, no discussion, but which or but what that they are focusing on now. Nothing else matters. Well, it does matter. I want to know what you th felt about Ted Kennedy trying to work with the Russians to unseat a sitting president. I want to know what you felt about a major network anchor using falsified documents against a sitting president. I want to know how you felt when a woman died in a drowning incident because the future liberal line of the Senate drove his car drunk off a bridge. You want to talk about racism? Tell me what you really felt about Robert Byrd. Well, Andrew, you're bringing up all this old stuff. No, I'm bringing it up because I want to know how you felt about it then. Not what you say about it in 2020 hindsight, what you really believed then. Because you covered for Robert Byrd.
right now, right now, you'll see no outrage at the things Louis Farrakhan is saying while being linked to the leader of the Women's March. He tweeted out this morning that the FBI is the enemy of the black man and controlled by Jews. He gave a speech that Jews wanted to boil Jesus in a vat of boiling excrement, claiming some false representation in the Talmud. Not a peep. Not a peep. Notice how the media covers for every Democrat, left-wing, progressive, rapist, racist, thief, cheat, scoundrel, and demands, points their finger at people like me and go, well, as Stormy Daniels, I don't care about Stormy Daniels. If your entire argument against Donald Trump hinges on the, on the hearsay of a porn star, good for you. Now, the libertarian in me has no problem with people who are above the age of consent doing whatever they want in front of a camera. Key phrase, above the age of consent. I don't care. I don't care about the porn industry. Wine 695 Patriot 9572874. It is funny though to watch the Democrats who've promoted every form of promiscuity and sexual perversion start to sound like the knees together, two feet on the floor, daylight between you when you dance Puritans. That's hysterical. All of a sudden, they're the prudes. All of a sudden, whew, nipple flash? Oh my God, clutching my pearls. All of a sudden, they're offended at this. There has been almost a media blackout on Louis Farrakhan. And the problem is his close connection to the organizers of the Women's March, which are also the organizers of the March for Our Lives. It's all the same people. There's been an anecdotal story here or there, but it has not spawned the kind of debate and discussion with the so-called experts sitting around glass tables with network logo coffee mugs. I want you to listen to this speech. And uh, maybe we should all hold our breath until Jewish Democrats like Chuck Schumer renounce Louis Farrakhan. He's got legions of followers that buy this crap. And you don't hear any Democrats ever I mean, they're all over Donald Trump if he says anything that's slightly off color. Or any figure that is center-right, Republican, conservative. They're looking for racism everywhere. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of racist non-law. If somebody, if you're a conservative or you're a Republican, the mere accusation that you're a racist. I mean, remember they were trying to try Trump to the Klan uh, over and over and over again where they could find no direct connection? These Democrats swoon over Louis Farrakhan. Swoon over him. Play that whole clip again. The FBI has been the worst enemy That's right. That's right. of black advancement. That's right. That's right. Can you prove that, Farrakhan? See, the Jews have control over those agencies of government. Oh, boy. That's right. I said, well, if you thought you were going to find an old, decrepit, far baby. I got a lot of more juice. This enemy, he's so angry with Farrakhan that now if you like me, you have to either hide it, especially if you want advancement in the white man's world. Now, if you go to work tomorrow and Jews are your boss, don't tell them where you've been. The Jew is the enemy. 
The Jew is the enemy. The Jew controls government and is using the FBI to hold back the black man. You know, when we talk about potential corruption at the highest levels of the FBI, not agency-wide, we're told by the Democrats that we're undermining law enforcement. But when their voices, their organizers, and Farrakhan's an organizer, calls the Jew an enemy, you don't hear one word about it. You don't see CNN and MSNBC sticking microphones in people's faces demanding that they answer up for this. They're not demanding that Democrats sufficiently distance themselves from Farrakhan. The Jew is the enemy. Oh, that and uh, black people can't ever be racist, right? That's what we're always told. White racism is exclusive only to white people. Or, excuse me, religious hostility. Judaism is a religion, not a race. Only the Democrats confuse that when talking about Muslims. But the Jews, the enemy. The enemy of the state, the enemy of the, well, it is the state, enemy of the people. Wonder if he got that from the mother wheel. 